Now we're going to go on to handling big data sets. And in, in the first directions are going to cover when somebody gives you your data, like your state test scores or your benchmark results. Um, and so I want to go over some quick tips on how to handle those big data sets. Okay. Um, the first thing we're going to go over is how to freeze columns and rows. I'm going to jump over here to our example, and I'm going to click on the freezing columns and rows. Now, notice when I scroll up, I no longer can see what each header for the column is, right? So I want to freeze this row, okay? As I go left and right, I lose sight of, I don't know who owns this, right? And I don't want to have to keep sliding back and forth. So what I'm going to show you how to do is you're going to freeze this row and you're going to freeze the first two columns because we want to be able to see first and last name. Okay. So we're going to be going to the view menu and then we're going to choose the freeze item and we're going to choose one row and two columns. So we actually have to go up to the view menu twice. So view, and then we're going to choose freeze one row. And when you do that, notice the first row freezes. And now when I scroll up, it says one and then 12. Okay. And now we're going to go back up to view and we're going to choose freeze and we're going to choose two columns. And now when I scroll, I can see column B, A and B and column J and K very easily. Okay. So this is my number one tip for handling large data sets, because that's the first thing that you need to know. All right. And the next thing I'm going to show you is how to wrap text. You notice up here in this example that you've got map percentage fall 20 something, but we can't see the rest of the information. Okay. Now, we could widen all the columns, but that just makes your spreadsheet that much less um, easy to handle, right? So what we're going to do is we are going to select the row number one. We're just going to click on that one and it will highlight the whole row. Then we're going to go up to our toolbar and we're going to look for this icon. It's next to the um, uh, diagonal A. It's also near where you would do your alignment. When you click on that, you get this pop up and you're going to choose the middle option. Okay. So I'm going to do that now live. I'm going to click on the one to select that row. I'm um, here's the diagonal a. Now, the one thing I want to show you is if I make my screen smaller, notice I can't see the rest of the toolbar. You have to click on the ellipsis, which means more, and then you'll find it right here. Okay or you can just widen your screen and then select on it i mean click on it and then select the middle one now watch what happens notice everything is wrapped around and it's so much easier for you to read everything okay so the wrap text is very important so now here's your challenge i want you to pause the video and you're going to do what i just did you are going to freeze the first row and you're going to freeze two columns and then go ahead and do wrap text on row one. 